So uh, just to uh, kind of recap uh, last week's game, I thought uh, it's a great team, total team effort um, against a really good opponent. Uh, defensively, I thought we, our guys played fast. Um, they played hard um, against, uh, you know, probably one of the most physical teams in the league, um, if not the most physical uh, team in the league. Um, and, you know, we just played for 60 minutes. Um, and it was really, you know, every everybody, um, D-line, linebackers. Maybe, maybe, uh, we had plays from really everybody on the defense, which we needed against that group. Um, and uh, just a, a great team win. Um, just wanted to congratulate Cam Bynum on the uh, NFC Player of the Week. Um, it's just he's been trending in the right direction all, all, all year and uh, culminated in a, in a really good game last week. Um, but he wasn't alone. We had a... Um, you know, a bunch of guys play well, which we needed against that group. And uh, um, we got a quick turnaround this week uh, against a division opponent on the road. Um, so, uh, you know, my message to the guys was we got to turn the page quickly um, and really, uh, you know, focus in and lock in on Green Bay because um, obviously, you know, division games are always tough. They're always tight. Um, and we're going to have to play well um, uh, to win. We've learned that Najee is the celebration coordinator, and, and it's fun. But is there something real to like if you're looking forward to those celebrations? Maybe you're a tiny bit more likely to come away with a takeaway. Uh, I wasn't sure I was going to get that one, but uh, we'll just set it off with that. You know, I think uh, look, there's a small margin for error in this league, um, and there's so much time that's invested. Uh, our guys work so hard um, that uh, oftentimes you forget to have fun. Um, and, you know, so I, you know, I, honestly, I think I can be the biggest culprit of that because, you know, I'm so, uh, you know, attention to detail and uh, let's be precise and let's, um, you know, make sure we're on top of everything and let's move on to the next play. Um, and... You know, no one knows that on game day. That's the most fun. I never show it. I don't show my the, the, the fact that I'm having a great time outwardly. I've never, I never have. So, um, uh, we just felt like as a staff, we needed to, um, you know, look, we, we want you to pre be precise. And to me, I probably take it for granted that, hey, we want you to be precise. We want you to be disciplined. We want you to, uh, um, to do those things so that you can make plays and then, you know, I, I guess I, you know, you take it for granted that they're going to celebrate. Um, so uh, the emotions, that, that's a big part of the game. Um, it really is. There's an advantage there. Um, I've always known that. Um, just trying to coach a little bit of that, too, I guess. So I don't know. We'll see what they come up with next week. But we got to earn that. we got to earn the right to, 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 to do those things. Yeah, um, right. Okay. I was just going to ask him how you guys defended the run. What was it about the plan and the performances that stood out to you? You know, I thought uh, D line wise, you know, all those guys Dean Lowry, uh, Bullard, um, HP, Harrison Phillips, Tonga, uh, Jay Roy, I thought those guys played really well up front. They were physical. Um, there was a good amount of knockback. Um, I thought we, edge players set the edge, cutback players played cutback. We defeated blocks, we tackled. Uh, against a real good line, a real good back, and a real good uh, run, um, run, run, running offense. So, um, just a team effort, really. And uh, and a part of the, our conversations last week where everybody's at the point of attack against this run game, and that's what it, that's what it was. Um, and we executed. Uh, and you guys played well. You, you said you don't show emotion or show that you're having fun, but are you feeling it? Uh, or in that I love coaching football. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I do. Um, so yeah, you know, meetings, walk through practice. Like this is what I love to do. Um, so yeah, I don't show it outwardly, but um, I, I, every aspect of it. Um, and to watch all that, you know, and I work hard at it. Yeah. And to watch it come to fruition, you know. Uh, it's fun, you know, and even when it's not, it's, it's not, it doesn't, you know, we, and we've had, a, you know, ups and downs, you know, it's all fun to me. Um, now, I'm not the big, you know, jump around smiley guy. I'm not. Um, but 
I'm celebrating with them uh, in my own way. So when, when those good things happen. Uh. We've seen Daniil make, uh, make plays for years here, but uh, what about his role in this system and then what about his game has, has complemented your system? Uh, just his ability to just, you know, win one-on-one -on -one matches, um, which he's done his whole entire career. But, um, you know, if you guys have seen, there's, you know, a good am amount of, obviously, pressure. Uh, but there's also a good amount of max coverage. So, um, you know, he's done a good job in some three-man rushes where um, he's having to battle it out um, with, you know, maybe, you know, two guys. Uh, quarterback's got to hold it, and he finds a way to finish. Um, you know, I feel like we talk about him, you know, every week, and that's a good thing because he's playing well. Um, and really, as a you know total total defense, I think we got a lot of guys who are uh, understanding their roles, and um, you know, with that, they understand Daniil's role in it. And you know, some guys got to take two, so he's you know has a one on one, um, and we all we all want that um, because we feel good about that matchup. Um, and you know we're trying to just as a you know as a defense, um, I think you know he's somebody we we, we always want to try to highlight. Um, we know that as a coaching staff, but I think our team understands that um, in a different way now than we did probably a few weeks ago. Um, and he's done a great job, and you know hopefully we continue to build. Um, and that's really been the the message this week is that we just got to continue to build on um, you know a lot of the positive things that have gone have gone that have happened the last few weeks, but. Uh, there's also some things that we, we need to correct, um, whether it's communication or uh, a technique or a fundamental. Um, and that's, that's Daniil as well. I mean, there's, you know, it's not all perfect. It never is. And he understands that. Uh, but he's the guy who's always working to, to, to make those adjustments and, and, and fix whatever small thing is um, holding him back from one more play. Brian, speaking of... Attention to detail. What do you think of Cam's tackle on that forced fumble? Um, I mean, I thought obviously he forced the fumble, so I was very. Safeties anymore, it seems. Uh, yeah, I think he's head cross, yeah. you know, wrapping and everything. Um, he's, he's tackled well the entire year. Um, that was really a point of emphasis in the off season. I know DJ's done a great job. Durante Jones uh, done a great job of just uh, drilling, you know, those techniques. Um, so, you know, head to the side, head across, punching at the ball. Um, and he's taken those, uh, those drills, those techniques, those fundamentals, and he's applied them in, in game. Um, and I thought it was, a, you know, obviously a great tackle. Um, but there were a lot of other people involved there as well. Um, I know uh, Harrison came over and uh, was, was involved in that as well. And then Dean came over and, uh, you know, jumped on the ball. Um, before it ran or rolled out of bounds. So, again, another uh, you know, I, the thing about football that I love is that you know you, you know oftentimes it's one or two guys that get highlighted, but there's always there's always you know this unsung player or unsung person who did something within the play um, that that uh, is really more the reason why the, the, the good play occurred. Um, those are the things I like to highlight, um, you know, in our meetings. Um, so, and I'm appreciative of those guys as well. Very appreciative. So, um, you know, there were some other things that happened on that play. I think, uh, you know, we got the edge set, and um, you know, the, and the ball ended up bouncing, which you know got it out there to Cam. Um, but at the end of the day, Cam made a great tackle and got the ball out. So, um, excited about that one too. What's the key to like teaching or maintaining tackling when you really only play that? They only play that speed. Seven times, you know, seventeen times a year. Uh, you know, we practice it really every day, um, but there's only there's no way to mimic, you know, game speed, uh, you know, the violence and, and, and the, uh, the the physicality that's happening out there. Uh, there's really no way to mimic it. Um, but you know, we can go through, um, you know, the techniques. You know, head to the side, head across. Uh, you know, in practice, in a practice setting, going full speed up until the point of contact, that's the best you can do. Uh, and we try to do that um, every day. Um, and you can hit sleds, but a sled is not, uh, you, know, you know, Aaron Jones, you know. 
it's very different. You know, that sled's not moving. Um, that player is. So, um, you know, that's the best we can do. Uh, but it's the same for everybody, you know, all teams. So we're on equal playing field that's that way. And, um, you know, we just continue to talk and talk and talk about, um, you know, the, the, the different techniques and, um, you know, hopefully they apply them. Performance. Uh, do you guys feel you handled Chris Rump stepping away? And, and is there any update on how he's doing? Yeah, I mean, you know, he had to step away for a personal situation. And um, I thought they handled it, you know, well, you know, really throughout the week um, in meetings, in walkthroughs, in practice. Uh, there was certainly a, um, you know, he was on our mind as far as, you know, um, you know, him and that, that personal situation. Um, but, you know, there's still a, um, a job to do. And, um, you know, I thought the guys, they played well. You know, they really did. Um, and no, no real update on that. Staff at all, or is this? Are you good, good to go? What you got? You know, um, you know, Pat Hill and Pat really kind of stepped in, and I've been in there a little bit. Um, that's really more a question for Ko. Um, but you know, you got to be flexible, and you know, we got to be able to adjust. You know, in this league, it's you know, quite honestly, after COVID, it's just it's just something that um, I think we're all um, not used to, but. Um, we understand that sometimes you just you know you gotta uh, make some adjustments on the fly. Kevin's talked a couple of times about the creativity between you got you, Sarabo, Petten, and what they kind of brought in their mm -hmm. backgrounds. What what is that process, and what have those conversations been like? Oh, I mean, I've always tried to have a collaborative uh, uh, meeting space where you know let's spit fire some thoughts, some ideas, some coverages, some. You know, when you were in Carolina, what did you guys do? When you were you know, here, what did you guys do? Um, I'm always trying to learn also. Um, so uh, if there's an opportunity for uh, us to do something that I'm, you know, I've never done before, but, um, you know, it's probably uh, in the best interest of the group we have now, I'm all for it. Um, and that's, that's happened this year, certainly. Um, I think we're doing some things that I, you know, personally haven't done in the past. Um, but I think they fit the skill set of our players, and that's really all that matters. And some of those have come from uh, Durante, they've come from Pet, they've come from uh, you know Saravo, and um, you know they, all those guys have done a really good job. And you know we work in concert to uh, try to put the players in uh, best positions. And uh, you know we're still working. We're working to do that. You say you've done that every year. You've been you know either head coach or defensive. You know calling defensive plays in terms of bringing in other ideas, or has this been a particularly uh, active year as far as doing that? I think I think creativity is, is you know, creativity is king in this league. I think, um, I think if you, if you, you know, you know, do the same thing over and over again, um, you know, it normally doesn't work out. Um, so, I mean, I like to think that I've always, you know, been open to, um, you know, different, um, you know, schools of, of doing things. Um, you know, when I was in New England, there was a certain way that that was done. Um, but that was always, that was always evolving also. I think the game is ever changing. Um, I try to stay up on the trends and the, um, the things that are in vogue within the league. Um, you know, there were no jet motions 10 years ago. There just weren't. Um, and... You know, defensively, well, offensively, the game's changed a lot in the last 10 years. Um, and so defensively, we need to change with it. So I think you always have to be open to that. You got to be uh, uh, <coughs> willing to collaborate and hear the views of some other people. Um, you know, I remember, you know, visiting college coaches and because it felt like that was coming into the league. And, you know, how do you defend an RPO? I mean, I remember going to, um, you know, several places and, and talking about those things because they, they were new. Um, and I think, you know, that's that's part of this, this profession or really any profession. Like, you know, once you close your mind off and think you got all the answers, you know, it's normally when things don't go well. So I try to have a, a space like that. Sorry. Going back to Cam Bynum. Yeah. What were your first impressions of him when you first got here? Like, what have you learned about his capacity and his 
kind of potential as a football player? Well, I mean, let's talk about him as as a person first. Um, I just think this is a, a, a tremendous human being um, uh, who's got who's doing a lot of things outside of football uh, to affect and help other people. Um, that makes the football seem really, you know, not small, but you know, he's doing a lot of great things for people who are um, who need who need the help. And um, you know, I'm proud to to know him and and and. Um, work with him on a daily basis. As a player, he's smart, he's tough, um, he 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 works at it. It's important to him. He's a great teammate, um, and you can see all the work starting to to, to pay off. Um, we saw that in in, in um, you know last week, um, and he, he he's he's going to continue to grow because he works at it. And um, I think he's he's I think he's a really good player. He's a really good young player. I think he's got a bright future. Brian, you, you've gotten so many people involved in defense. It seems like kind of every week, like not, you know, Tonga last week kind of coming in and making plays. Uh, was that part of your philosophy to get, you know, players like Theo Jackson on, on the field and things like that? Um, or has it just sort of worked out that way? You know, I think we try to – every week I think we, we look at the opponent and, and, and we try to look at our roster and say – What's what's the best way to put guys in position to defend what this group does? So, you know, you you, you get a a Christian McCaffrey on the field. You know, you don't want to get mismatched. So, um, let's put let's put a bunch of DBs on the field, or you get um, you know teams that likes likes to run it. You put a bunch of big guys in there, so you have enough strength and enough uh, girth to handle that. Um, and I think. You know, as a staff, you know, we mentioned in the collaboration and the staff, I think that's a lot of the conversations that we have. And uh, we've got, you know, 25 guys on the roster. We want to try to use all of them if we can. Um, they're here for that reason. Um, every week it's a little bit of a mix and match. And I think that tries that keeps other people off balance, maybe. You know, maybe it doesn't. Um, but uh, I think at the end of the day, we're just trying to, uh, you know, put our guys in good position and, uh you know, I think we got a, we got we got you know a lot of good young players and you know they work hard in practice and deserve an opportunity and um, you know we'll continue to when we can try to get those guys in there.